Hi everyone, Simon Keeling here with your flying weather outlook for the weekend and weekend brought to you exclusively by Flyer in association with weatherschool.co.uk. Thanks again for watching. Uh, so it looks like we've got some, some mixed conditions as we go through the course of this weekend and into next week. It's going to be quite showery. Um, it's definitely mixed and windy at times too. And then we've got some rain next week, but there are, as I say there, some decent flying windows in there. The trick's going to be spotting them and getting the timing of them just right. Now, if you want to be able to do the same, spot these flying weather windows yourself up to five days in advance and understand more about MET, to get it in there so it's actually useful to you, then uh, you need to get yourself along to Aviation Weather School Part 1. This is going to be my online course presented live by me over the next two Tuesday evenings of the 9th and the 16th of July between 6.30pm and 9 p.m. Now, um, after each of these sessions, you'll get a recording so you can actually watch um, back uh, and just rewind on things, perhaps something you haven't understood the first time or just get something really cemented in there. And you can watch those recordings for up to a week after each of our sessions. Um, it's a really enjoyable course. I guarantee you will be flying more because of it. Uh, and I've got um, a space available on that course uh, right now. So if you go to weatherschool.co.uk, just scroll down to aviation, click on the Aviation Weather School live online course. You can find out all the information you need to hear about what we cover on the course and you can book your place now just on the right hand side here. Click on book securely by card or PayPal and that place can be yours. Uh, as I say, this kicks off next Tuesday. Now, um, it could be that perhaps you can't make both sessions and if you can't, don't worry. As I say, you're going to see the recordings. You can still ask questions of me anyway. Um, so uh, don't worry uh, about that if you can't make both of those sessions. But it would be super to see you there. As I say, that's going to be uh, on the next two Tuesday evenings of the 9th and the 16th of July. OK, so let's take a look at where we go then. This is the forecast chart for uh, Thursday, low pressure off northwestern Scotland. Uh, a cluedy front is going to be bringing rain through central and western Scotland. That spreads its way east during the day. Pretty windy as well, risk of gales in places. Some showers across southwestern Scotland, northwest England, but elsewhere it's bright, it's dry, we've got some sunny spells around. Cloud does increase across southern Ireland and southwest England later on, but most areas are dry and fair. But a windy day, gusts of 25 to 30 knots quite widely, 40 knots across northern England and Scotland. Now, for Friday, fronts tracking their way eastwards on Friday across England and Wales. These take some outbreaks of rain with them. I'm going to go marginal to non-VFR. Uh, across much of central and southern England and Wales because of those outbreaks of rain and drizzle. Most of them are in the west, so actually probably eastern areas are OK. 2,000 foot bases tops about 10,000 feet, but some cloud affecting coasts and hills in central and western areas. Brighter, the farther north you go with the uh, cloud bases increasing, 3,000 foot base tops about 10,000 feet, one or two showers in western Scotland, but lighter winds through Friday as well. Fairly murky in the south as those fronts move eastward, so reduced visibility. Saturday sees low pressure off the eastern coast. This just feeds in some rain down these eastern coasts during the course of the day on Saturday. Elsewhere, it's showers and um, looks as if some of those showers could be quite heavy. So it's flyable, but yet marginal with those showers, but close to the front, I think, we're non vfrable Southern parts of England look better here, probably VFRable, but quite windy again, gusts of 20 to 25 knots, perhaps a little higher across more southern areas. Typical bases, three to 4,000 feet, tops 12 to 15,000 feet. And then getting into uh, Sunday and further showers on Sunday, troughs moving eastwards during the day. Some of those showers could be quite heavy. So I'm going marginal. The morning probably better than the afternoon, by which time those showers have got chance to develop. Some thunderstorms in places as well. Some cuneums, bases 3,000 feet tops at about 20 to 25,000 feet. You can probably fly around the showers quite well, but if you get caught by one, they are going to be heavy. Now for Monday, low pressure pushes a front north and eastwards during the day. It brings cloud and some outbreaks of rain across southwestern areas here, becoming non to marginal VFR 1,000 to 2,000 foot bases, 12,000 foot tops. Elsewhere, generally flyable, one or two showers around, yes, but 3,000 foot bases, 
15,000 foot tops. For Tuesday, slack pressure flow with low pressure over the top of us. Uh, again, I think for eastern Scotland, central and eastern areas of England, here we go, marginal. Where that front is across eastern Scotland, maybe non-VFR, but generally marginal conditions for most. 3,000 foot bases, 20,000 foot tops. Further west, generally flyable bases, 4,000 feet tops at around 12,000 feet. And then finally, Wednesday at the moment, looking generally fair, mostly flyable for all of us, perhaps one or two showers in the north, but 4,000 foot bases, 10,000 foot tops. But late in the day, fronts arriving in the southwest, bringing cloud, bringing outbreaks of rain later on, although a lot of uncertainty over the timing of that. OK, I will leave you with that for now. Don't forget to get to weatherschool.co.uk. Book your place, that final place remaining on my Aviation Weather School Part 1 course uh, on the Tuesday evenings of the 9th and the 16th of July between 6.30pm and 9pm. It'll be me presenting it live to you and uh, I look forward to seeing you there. Book your place now at weatherschool.co.uk. Whatever you're doing, have a great flying weekend. And uh, I'll catch you next week. Thanks again for watching. Keep the sun shining and bye for now.